<laughs> Welcome, peasants. You thought the age of steam was over. Oh no, no, it wasn't. Um, I guess I should apologize for the long break. I was just, you know, meditating in forgotten realms space outside of time and the known universe you know stuff like that anyway um as you can see i abandoned joy pony as it didn't really bring me much joy but i was told i found out me king sombra found out that there's another game on Steam, when you can both be a king and date other kings. Uh, as you can see, uh, the kings on display are here. I guess there's a lot of them. Um, so, uh, some kind of peasant played this game before me, but you know, let, let's just ignore them. Just, just start a uh, king dating adventure, yes. I'm gonna say all my lines, I'm not gonna say anyone else's lines, because I don't care. Dad. Okay, I'm gonna say all lines. Dad, wake up. Wait. I have to be a dad? Oh my god. Oh my, oh my lord, I did, I did not think this through. Oh my, oh, King Sonda is, mm, okay, um, five more minutes, yes, let, let's go with that. You said that five minutes ago. No, I did not, I did not say anything yet in this game. And also ten minutes, oh my god, it's some kind of background. Mm. <clears throat> I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and st oh, King Samba doesn't yawn. This someone must be mistaken. <laughs> Morning, Manda Panda. Dad. That's not her name. Her name is Amanda. Why? Why? Is he, why? Why am I calling her Manda Panda? Oh my gosh, human realm is so confusing. Uh, yikes! Dad, breath. Go brush your teeth. Oh, so I'm... Please don't pirate games. I don't need to pirate games. I'm a king. I can buy anything. Build that dad. Oh, th there's dad building. Oh, so we're not really brushing it. I thought we would, we would brush our teeth. Okay, um, um... I have to check... Choose one of those disgusting human bodies. Uh, yeah, hair is okay, I guess. Uh, like... Uh, it's not exactly my main, but it will do. Uh, no, that's that's too much. Oh, that's it. Too little about a body. Uh, uh, this one shows off my beautiful kingly belly, so let's go with that. Head. Um, none of these heads looks like mine. Uh, Which one of this is most pony like? I guess this one. Oh, a main! Oh, yes, I shall find myself a main. Uh, not really. Um, I guess this one will do if I won't find any better options more suitable for my kingly persona. Um, no, um, no. Uh, no. Um, not really. Why everything was holy? What the hell is that? Oh, let's let's go back to the to the first main. It's, it's, it's most most kingly of them all, in my humble opinion. That is not humble at all. My perfect opinion. Oh uh, yes, my. What is this thing? What is it doing here? What is what is this thing? Why, why does it... Why do I have this one? 
I never asked for this one. Mm. Which one looks better? Not that I care about your opinion, just, you know, thinking aloud. Uh, okay, let's let's go with the, this one with this strange, strange thing. Ice. Okay, my kingly beautiful eyes. Obviously, none of the eyes will be as perfect as mine, but like. Which eyes are evil enough? Mm, I guess those ones are kinda evil. No, 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 oh, definitely not. Mm. Um, these ones are probably the most, most adequate when it comes to my attitude towards this whole character creation, so let's go with those. And those, oh, yeah, humans have those disgusting little things on their faces. Oh. Oh. All of them looks horrible. Oh. I guess this this one looks a, a little bit kingly. My mouth. Definitely not. Not a chance. No. No. No, this one is the most. Oh my gosh, they like different colors. Oh, they all still look horrible. No, absolutely not. Uh, brows. Oh, God. Ignore this noise. Nothing happened. Oh yeah, these are these are very good good brows for Eki. Oh, maybe those. <laughs> Mmm, these are some kingly brows. Yeah, let's let's go with those. Facial hair. I have hair all over my body. I don't need another one. What is this thing? No, no, absolutely not. <laughs> King Sobla has perfect eyesight. He doesn't need glasses. Uh, piercing. Um... I guess I can't have my horn in this game, so this, I guess a piercing will do. Ah, such a tiny puny thing. Ah, it's, it doesn't, it cannot even compare to my beautiful red horn. Ah, I guess this one will do. Hmm. The clothes, you say? Yeah, humans wear those. I guess I sometimes also wear my beautiful, beautiful cape, but like, apart from that, I don't need, I have no need for clothes, I'm beautiful as I am. Uh, no, this one's just boring. Oh, what is this creature? Oh! This one has a skull on it, and it's kind of intimidating. Okay. We have a favorite here. What is a maple bay? Oh, definitely no hearts. Stars. Oh, I guess it will do, but it's still worse than a skull. No. Ah. Oh. No. Definitely not. This looks horrible. Okay. A skull it is. Looking good, daddy. You're, 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 you're referring to me? Am I the daddy? Name that dad. Okay. Um, I am King Sombra. Mm, I'm not fully satisfied with my look, but I guess it will have to do. Be that dad. Yeah, I guess I have no other choice. This is the best option available. Huh. Did you fall asleep parking? How dare you! I do not fall asleep during parking. I guess most of it done, I think. 
Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed, except for one. Wait! Struggler! Huh? What's in it? Look into the box, I see a bunch of old photos in little photo albums. Yes! Whoa! I haven't seen this in years! I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we've been looking through it. Ah! Oh, little humans, disgusting! Huh. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. Oh, you clearly have never seen a pony baby then. The only way your father and I, the only way your mother and I. Oh, shall I choose my sexuality now? Like my orientation? Oh, having sex with humans, disgusting. Oh well, I guess... I guess, um... Since it is a game about dating other kings, it's only appropriate that I choose a king as my, I guess, former spouse? The only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sun those sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. See? Humans are annoying. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Nice! Halloween when you were maybe four. <laughs> oh my god, the dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess Dragon. Mm -hmm. Why do I remember crying that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a re re realization of your greatest fear, I think. Mm -hmm. Right? Yup. Definitely repress that memory. And this was in your horse face. Oh. Dad? I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Hmm. I don't think that was his. Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head in my superior dad arms. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah, puny human. Try reach the photo now. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Oh, I like my character already. And my name's King. How appropriate. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in your scar band. What's a scar? Ouch, kid. This communist manifesto had a chance back in the day. It is, is this some kind of political reference that I do not understand? as the king of all that will ever be. Probably. It's just probably not. I look off into the distance and reminiscence about the rat horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. Do I know this person? Uh. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that we'll never stop mixing those two up. Ugh. Dad, Emma has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. Oh, right. Emma P was the one who... Fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station. I don't think that human kids do that. Do they? Who her pants during... Oh, that's definitely that's what human kids do. Ugh. Nah, that was me. I did that. Oh. 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 Mm -hmm. And I was having a sleepover with Emma R, who isn't Emma P. She hmm. never told anyone, though. True blue, that Emma R. Huh. Anyway, I'm gonna show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. Ah. Yeah, and got us a 20 gift, $20 gift card to McFridays. Oh yeah, dollars, those human currency. Hey. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tostada blasts. <laughs> Kings don't get food poisoning, you must be remembering, misremembering things. I think you meant food poisoning, you know, with a Z. Dad? Dad? 
Oh, this was supposed to be a joke. Oh, right. right. <laughs> that the jokes. Still can drive past McFridays without gagging. I'm still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches down, deep down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Mm. I love you, Amanda. That's a nice photo, I guess. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Uh -huh. I finally decide to break the silence. That was the day you were born. I guess she looks like a newborn. It's kind of a funny story. We got in a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, but just a fender bender. But of course I was freaking out. And the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out. And I didn't know what to do. But your father, oh man. He holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes. The calmest I've ever seen him. He says, it's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Oh. He was right, you know. I stared the picture for longer. Maybe too long. I miss him. No, I don't! I never met him. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Well, maybe she misses him, as it looks like she clearly knows him, but I have never met this human. She pats me on the back. Oh. Come on, pups, we gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Huh. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. Oh, we're switching palaces. Oh, I'm gonna see my new palace. Oh, that's that's brilliant. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. 20 years! Oh my gosh, that's a lot of time. Mm. Hey, remember when I shut up the front window playing catch? What's a catch? I mean, like a game. I know what does it mean to catch. You always had very strong arms. <laughs> hey, remember when I shut up the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You were a very imaginative child. Yeah! Hey, remember when I broke the back window? We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Yeah, we do get it. Amanda, you don't have to tell us anything anymore. <laughs> There will be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. You're not gonna destroy my palace! I will not allow it! Memories to make and stuff to break. Ah. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I wish my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. So am I. The moving van begins to pull away and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rearview mirror. So... So what? So send me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. I don't do cheesy announcer voice, I do kingly voice. <coughs> Nestled in the beautiful, scenic downtown Maple Bay, a new house features. Multiple places to sleep. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wig. Yes. It's very important for a palace to have many bedrooms. <laughs> What a deal! I mean, if sleep weren't for the week. Ha <laughs> ha! I like this kid! You sleep more than anyone I know! Ha <laughs> I admit my faults, pups. I keep it real. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. I think it's great. Would we'll be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to, so I don't have to waste gas. And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know... Amanda, you know you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Not gonna happen, pups. I have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. I don't know how to do that either. I don't know what they're talking about. 
over the neighbors yet. Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn. You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. I'm in the last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real... Don't you dare. Senior. Then I know where this is going. Citizen. I'm just gonna ignore that. But I won't forget it. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we need to forge a path through a solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the wash and dryer. We need to go grocery so shopping. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're gonna take a break and explore the neighborhood. I don't have to promise you anything. I'm the king. I make the rules here. <clears throat> okay, okay, you're right. Yeah, tell her that and then we're gonna cheat her. And deceive her. <laughs> we'll get some work done and then check the area out. Why do I have to do any work? I'm the king. Where are my servants? We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and for sale sun is still in the yard. hi yeah. And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. I like this kid. She'll make a good soldier. In my army. Nice form, sweet pea. Oh yes, there is. I got a problem with authority. Oh! No, 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 you have to respect authority. I mean, as long as it's my authority, you can disrespect everyone else. I mean, no problem with that. I'm so proud. Yes, I am. As long as she respects my kingly authority, of course. Eh? Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream huh. sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. I need some co- I don't need coffee. Kings don't need coffee. Did you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? Yeah, dogs are cool. Let's check out some dogs. <laughs> you know it. Thank you for moving us to an area where the dog to person ratio is very high. I only want what's best for you. I hope you're prepared for the frequency at which I interrupt conversation to yell DOG to racket way up. I mean, you do that a lot, or... Hey, it's a dog! Hey. Oh. Wait, false alarm. It was just a funny-shaped rock. If you want to see real dogs so bad, let's go to that park around the corner. Yeah, let's walk around the park, like... Noble people. Amanda and I begin a stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the streets, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Too nice. Hmm. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. Yes. I like those two. You can never be too careful. See that baby that stroll over there? Government operative. What are they talking about? Hmm. We're on to you, baby. Huh. Look for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes roam through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! Oh! Hey. How dare you assault me! I'm a king! I'm your king! How dare you? Oh, this will not stand. A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Woof. Did the dog throw the frisbee? A corky with a neat plate handkerchief tied around its neck bounced up to me, wagging its tail. Huh. I guess it's not a pony, but a dog will do. You're, you're prettier than anyone else I saw so far in this game. Uh, did you throw this thing in my head? Bark. He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. 
Well, I don't know about that. I've seen many dogs in my life, and I don't know to show if it's the cutest. Impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. What kind of wisdoms can the dog have? Well, let's find out. Impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. Woof woof. How did you know? How did he know what? Oh my gosh, this is so confusing. How long do I have left? I'm gonna be immortal. You have the most lovely numbers. Oh, yeah, that might be helpful. I mean, if humans win lotteries, they get a lot of money, right? I could buy a better palace or more slaves. Yeah, a lot of numbers will do. Do you have tomorrow lottery numbers? Bork. Got it. You definitely could have caught that. A guy in Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you think you're so funny, big man. It's a new technique. It's like this golf, but the goal is my face. Look, looks like you're winning. Huh, I'm just messing with ya. I'm Brian, by the way. What was this strange emojis coming from behind his back? That that was that was weird. I'm King, and this is my daughter, Amanda. Yeah, he said something about being Brian, but who cares? I look over at Amanda only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Hi! Your dog's cool. Ah, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? We're in gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on the checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. Yeah. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers Karamazov. I don't know what that is. Her teacher tells me that she has the red reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? Ten. She's a precocious little youngster. Whoa! Ah. My natural dark instincts kick in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no, it's happening. W what is happening? Go on, Daisy. Tell them about yourself. Um, I... That's my girl. Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. King's HP, 80. Brian's HP. Oh, oh we're gonna fight. Haha, <laughs> fight, yes. Um, let's... Let, let's do some item. Uh... Yeah, oh yeah, uh, Amanda is good at, at art. Let's let's use her art against the, the other human child. You unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Brian, cute. It isn't very impressive, but Amanda genuinely appreciates you holding onto it. Brian loses 10 HP. You regain 20 HP. This is just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president too, of course. Amanda. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. You lose 10 HP. King's 90. Haha, <laughs> I'm winning! Let's brag about my daughter. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations! Brian was a 10 HP. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. He was 15 HP. I'm still winning. Uh, I'm sure my daughter has good grades, right? You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grade card out of your back pocket. Dad? Awesome grades, Brian loses 25 HP. You really carry that around everywhere? Ouch, maybe it was. It is kinda weird, you lose 5 HP. Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize, a canoe. 
are you taking out next weekend? How is that even possible? And I could barely get one of those sticky hand things. It's extra powerful, you lose 20 HP. I have 50 and Briar 35. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with grocery bags. It's extra powerful, Brian loses 20 HP. The animation Daisy said her first word at 10 months. Daddy. Amanda was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. You lose 10 HP. 15. Ha! I'm gonna win it! Uh, Amanda's in all honors classes this semester. Brian loses 10 HP. Oh, really? I'm actually thinking to Daisy to teachers about having her skip a grade. Amanda, even Amanda kind of wrists at that one. He lost 20 HP. Ha! He's got only 5 HP. A few months back, Amanda started volunteering at the homeless shelter in our old neighborhood. Brian loses 10 HP. I've got him on the ropes. You two seem to have such a good relationship. It warms my heart. Ah, why'd he have to be such a good loser? Ha ha ha! I won! Take that, Brian! Who's the king? I'm the king! I'm the king! King Sombra! Duh! So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. We just moved in. Do you live around here? Yeah, we live in that cul-de-sac uh. down next to the coffee shop. What a coincidence, that's uh. where we live too. Small world. Yeah, Daisy now and the little ranch style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? Well, he clearly cannot, as we outdid him just now. Cause we're awesome. <clears throat> what a lovely place. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. We'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell heavily trotting along in tow. Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one up one up us? Trying and succeeding? Mm. I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh I believe you had a big of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't pound out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to mine on your horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. Let us never speak again speak of the fantastic adventures of her son Sir Horsington. Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts, but I'm an Amanda Sombra. Ha! <laughs> Sombra, what a beautiful, beautiful name. We laugh off the horse happy and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Wait, did you just make fun of horses? I just realized you're making fun of horses. Horses are the ultimate creatures. We are the best. Go to the to coffee shop. Go unpack. Go take a nap. I actually think I'm gonna take a nap. All this sunlight is making me real tired. I don't think I got enough sleep last night. We slept for 14 hours. Exactly. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. King! Bro! I turn around and am greeted by a familiar hey. face jogging up to us. Is it familiar? I don't... I can't say I ever saw this guy before. Craig? Oh, apparently my character knows this guy. Bro. Bro. Don't, don't call me bro. I'm a king. Call me king. Holy oh. wow. I haven't seen Craig in forever. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow. You look great. Ah, yeah. Hey. I cleaned up my act. I mean, he does look kind of good. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's stripped. He is. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while too. Ah, one of those college things that humans <laughs> attend. Okay, I get it now. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello, cute baby. 
Ah, oh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He, he picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Ah, human babies. Disgusting. Are you babysitting? Nah, dude. River's my <sighs> kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to the exams with bad hangovers and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? I was working out in California and just relocated business back to Maple Bay. No kidding, Amanda just moved to this to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. She actually still goes by Smashley and uh, we got divorced last year. Oh. I'm genuinely sorry to hear that, human. Not that I really care about your relationship, but I guess you, you're sad, so... I'm sorry. Oh dude, I'm so sorry. It's old news. We take turns oh. taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Twins? You have three kids? Oh, this guy is crazy. Mm -hmm. How can you have three human babies? Or children? That's horrible. Ain't life something, bro? Right? Keg Stand Craig is a father of three. Keg Stand Craig? Hmm. Oh, haha. <laughs> yeah, it was my old college nickname. Good because he did a lot of keg stands. It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Is keg some kind of a barrel? Filled with drinks. I don't know. I don't understand your human slang. That that well. Uh. Uh, right. He was very good at it. Ah, bro. I hate to be that guy. Uh. What? What guy? What? What guy? But I'm in the middle of my daily jog, and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for you know resistance training. You jog daily. I jog. Year. I don't jog, I'm a king, kings don't have to jog. On January 1st, when I promised myself that I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Ha! <laughs> I'm gonna sweat with other humans, I think not. Haha, <laughs> I don't know. Come on, it'd be fun. We could get breakfast afterwards, catch up, we could do a bro brunch like like the good old days. Alright, sure, sounds great. Yeah, yeah. Just wave him off. Great, let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling, uh, whatever that means. Why is that? Hmm. The Craig I know is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and spe especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce, then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. Then I asked him what the hell he was doing and he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. I know, right? That's crazy. Who would do that? He's like a totally different person. Ah. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way because before she can sit. Too bad we're gonna be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Oh, that is gonna be okay. Mm. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just, you're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. Um, is it gonna be? I'll come visit and I'll text you every day. And I take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Of course, I'm gonna be okay by your uh. lonesome. Oh, come on, I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. No, I won't! 
no ducks in my house. I mean, ducks are okay as long as they stay out of my property. A dog. All right. Forget art school. I stare for the dog. All right. Is that what it's gonna take? Medium sized dog, handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give out my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. Where would you buy a dog? You just could just adopt a dog. Ha! Huh. Americans. Amanda laughs. <laughs> Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides oh. through a mail slot. Speaking of college. Wanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it! I command you! But I'm scared. Mm. Do as I say. I'm your king. It's just an envelope. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just like my entire future. Not a big deal. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but okay. I hold my breath while Amanda mm. eyes start back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has revived your applications, blah blah blah. Um, we... Her face drops. <sighs> we get to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Mm. Oh, sweetie. It's okay, I kinda saw it coming. Mm. Anyway, I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. The admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. Ha! Huh. Amanda! Who cares anyway? I never went to college or any of your human schools, and I'm a ruler of entire Crystal Empire! Come on, who cares about college? I put Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is gonna want to snatch you, snatch you up for sure. Yeah, I know. Mm. It's fine. Are you actually fine or are you just saying that? I'm fine, really. Well, you should believe mm. her. If she's saying something, you should believe your daughter. My character. King. Why am I talking to myself? Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Yeah! Exactly. Thank you. Oh, and before I forget, Emma yeah. R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. So, Dad, get me out of the of the because I'm painfully uncool. I'm uncool. I'm King Sombra. I'm the coolest being alive. How dare she? I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. <gasps> How dare you? I'm offended. Well, I have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place for to yourself. Yeah? What are your plans? Yeah. Quick, think of plans. <laughs> Among the town needs me. I'm secretly the mayor of this town. I need to perform my mayoral duties. I must don my top, top hat and wear my monocle so that I may preside over my... Mayor stuff. <laughs> I'm not only a mayor, I'm a king! I'm a king of this town. And every other town in the universe. I think you're thinking of the guy from Monop Monopoly. He was a mayor, right? He was not. Uh. Uh, right. I'm just kidding, I'm actually going to... Oh, I'm not gonna unpack if she's gonna if she wants the house all to herself she can un unpack herself Go to bed Um. Oh go out and watch the game What is the game? Well, it sounds more interesting just simply sleeping Nice which game? Mm. You know, the game, the one that's on tonight. The game, on TV, and somewhere Aww. other than here. Okay, cool. Uh. While you do that, I'm gonna do drugs and commit some light scarsons with the Emmas. I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. I'm on the shrugs. 
would have expected you guys to be up to white collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at the least. Ho oh, ho ho, I like this one. I'm a street rat, pops. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? Yes, dad. <sighs> Just making sure. I give her a pat on the head. <laughs> Have fun with your sports. <laughs> Are you being sarcastic? No, making fun of sports is played Aww. out. Alright then. I do huh. some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna talk with teachers now? Why did I agree to play the game? Alright, Mr. Vega. Yup, totally remembered. I'll be there. I hope they have a fun night. I'm really glad Amanda has such sweet friends, even if I can never remember their names. Just I'm heading toward my room, the doorbell rings. Who would possibly need anything from me right now? They know what time it is. Well, let's find out who it is. But we're going to do it next time. I'm going to save this game and save again just to be sure. Never helps. Anyway, I find it nice that you peasants decided to watch this video. Um, I'm commanding you to, to watch another one as soon as it appears on my new channel. Yeah, I dropped my old channel because I can't remember the password. Well, it happens. Um, yeah, I think that's it for today. So, see you next time, peasants. And hope you enjoy my great kingly adventures as I'm trying to date other kings. And I'm going to do it in the upcoming episodes. Anyway, see you soon. Goodbye.